your dial indicator, the thicker of the two of these. Uh, so you use this one and just slide it right on top here and, and leave it towards the back end. Tighten it down by hand and then take this special piece here and, and just fit it over top and fit it all the way down and then take your Allen wrench and tighten, tighten the screw down. Not too tight, you can strip that out. It's aluminum that it's tapped into. Um, so now you have this, this dial indicator tool. This point should be, you can kind of yank it down and it, it will go. And now it'll have a range that, it's a very s small range, but as that goes up and down, your dial goes up and down. You fit it over this extruder bolt. It fits there and then you tighten down this screw here. Once you have that, it'll be floating over the bed and be able to tell you relative to other places on the bed what the high and low points are. So you move it to each corner. And just a side note here, if you power on your Gigabot, you'll encounter much less resistance moving it around the bed. One corner, one corner. And you find the lowest part, the lowest corner of the bed. And then the goal is to make all the other corners as low as that one. And you do that by taking the corners you want to lower and slowly turning this nut clockwise, tightening it down, pulling the rail down, and also pulling the bed down. Until you get it to where you can go all four corners and see that dial indicator, as long as you're between five or ten thousandths of an inch. Once you have a flat bed, tighten down these two bolts on all four corners and then check it again and make sure that the act of tightening it down didn't loosen, um, it didn't adjust the height at all. And once you're tightened down and the whole bed is level, uh, then you're ready to adjust the Z height and, and print.